We're in the headquarters of Andretti Global, a team powered by Honda. And here we have the hybrid unit. On the top, we have the Energy Storage System, or ESS, developed by Honda. In this small compartment, we have the 20 ultra capacitors, also known as super capacitors. This is where the charge is stored, primed to be used by the driver. And it all has to work with this, the MGU, or Motor Generator Unit. Inside the Aero McLaren race shop, a Chevrolet powered team, and we can see the MGU developed by Chevy and Ilmor. It takes the charge from the super capacitors and distributes it to the wheels. It also harnesses the energy under braking and from the engine itself to regenerate the charge held by the ESS. When the driver wants to regenerate, they have two options, automatic, which regenerates under braking and based on throttle position, or manual, which can be done with a button or a paddle on the steering wheel. With the MGU and ESS developed, now they have to work together. Honda, in concert with IndyCar, Chevrolet, and McLaren, wrote the code for the software that turns all of this into a functioning hybrid unit. And what's even better, on rotor street circuits, when combined with the traditional overtake, it will generate over 120 horsepower, pushing the total system to over 800 horsepower for the first time in 20 years. And it is such an impressive collaborative effort between Honda, Chevrolet, and of course IndyCar and all the teams to have got this thing up and running. Lots of testing's been done. I think it was something like 30 plus thousand miles of testing yeah. have been put on this system. Everybody wanting to make sure it was running reliably before we put it into race action, especially since we're doing it mid-season. You want this to have as little impact on the championship as possible. But it's been, uh, it's been a massive undertaking, and it's great to see it finally on the racetrack. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.